The rise of temperature and heat waves is creating unbearable living conditions. It can be noticed in the cities all around the world due to the climate crisis and should be taken action immediately on it. Enna pa, yolo soda arke. Pipe kuda leak aite arke. Mudi sa. The construction worker housing is leaking again. Okay, I'll be there in ten minutes. These are the different types of problems that are being faced by on-site construction workers today. No proper ventilation, very less thermal comfort, and lack of basic amenities like public hygiene and segregation of spaces, which leads to various health problems which affect their working capacity. Project Aru aims to design low impact adaptable structure that can be utilized in any Indian site context and can be assembled and disassembled after the usage in a particular site. The given site is in Hyderabad Kompalli with a total area of 1230 square meters and has easy access to the main road. As Hyderabad falls under the composite climate zone of India, it alternates between hot and dry periods to shorter periods. The module is designed to adapt to site outdoor conditions. Spaces have been segregated to address the problems observed during the case study. Using wall panels with high thermal performance for building envelopes will ensure thermal comfort. Achieving net zero energy. All the modules have solar panels installed on the roof for electricity generation with a total backup of 3 days. It is also connected to the grid which allows us to sell the excess electricity generated. Achieving net zero water. As water saving is a big concern on the construction site, our proposed case aims to reduce the water demand by 55% from the base case by implementing bucket baths, rainwater harvesting, grey water treatment system and using aerators and e-toilets. The design. Since the prevailing winds for most of the months are from the southeast direction and are characterized by high temperatures, this coupled with high humidity makes the living conditions inside the module uncomfortable. The blocks have been placed strategically to deflect the hot winds and create low and high pressure zones which might aid in convective cooling. The design consists of dining area, kitchen, washing area, bathing area, garbage disposal area, first aid room, office room and refuge area. These spaces have been segregated agronomically after the inference from the case study. The objective of the project is to provide habitable housing modules for the workers on site. by creating better living conditions for them boosts productivity and might also attract foreign investors to the company by making the modules eco friendly and sustainable we are contributing to the nation's sustainable development goals what is making you wait act now and let's progress towards a greener future